Hello, my name's John, these are some Necromunda Plague Zombies, and you're watching War Games Models and Other Hobbies. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm continuing one of my side projects of making Necromunda Plague Zombie conversions. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about the simple conversions to create these, I'll leave a link in the description. I've previously completed seven plague zombies. Just move these to one side. And then I have also worked on an Ogryn plague zombie. I'll leave the link for this guy in the description as well if you haven't seen those videos. I wanted to make a few more standard plague zombies, so here's some that I've already put together. There are a few kind of default straight out of the box ones, then a few conversions. The box in question is the Zombie Regiment, the old Warhammer box set. I do love this set for conversions. Although the scale might not be exactly correct for the kind of current models and things like that. I do like the way that the heads are slightly larger, the hands are over-exaggerated and things like that. So taking a look at these ones, this first one is straight out of that box. So a standard shambling zombie with its guts hanging out there. Then got another zombie holding a leg of one of its victims. This one has a minor conversion where it's holding a shotgun. Other than that, it's straight out of the box. So, although it won't know how to use the shotgun, technically, it uses it as a club or something like that. The next two are conversions on some standard Necromunda bodies. So this one is a hive scum body with the arms and head from that zombie kit. And then finally, this one is a house de lac plague zombie looks quite Nosferatu-esque this one but I do like the way it's got the kind of the house garb while still having some of the zombie elements now in this video I've got three other models that I want to convert and run through I've already started cleaning up some of the parts and things like that so here we have a member of the corpse grinder cult which I'm going to do some minor conversion on to turn into a plague zombie. So let's get started by gluing a few of the bits together on this one. I quite like the idea of having some slightly themed plague zombies for a future game. So generally what I'm looking to do is the gangs that I have I want to try and include at least one plague zombie from that house. So there's a kind of a tie with the plague zombies to all the other gangs that are playing in the scenario, the campaign, that kind of thing. But I quite like the idea of getting quite a few plague zombies. So it's like a ravening horde attacking a settlement or something like that. I haven't decided yet, but I like to keep my options open. So the key thing with this model that I'm thinking, I want to keep one arm holding its weapon and the other arm I'm going to chop and replace with a zombie hand on there and then put the head on. So first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to trim off these wires from the back of this hand. And then likewise, let me just trim off the hand. And let me just trim this section off. Now you might notice that I have a new cutting mat in this video. I've got a whole new setup for where I kind of do my hobby and everything. I'm going to do a video on it in the not too distant future so it gives people an idea of how I film my videos 
and the space that I do my hobby in and things like that. As I have had one or two questions over the past few months about the way I go about doing my videos, I, at this point I just want to say that I appreciate all of the watches and things like that that I get on this channel. I know it's not very big, but I do appreciate people taking their time out to watch the videos and comment, like, that kind of stuff. One thing that I'm also trying in this video, I've got a brand new microphone that I'm trying out. So hopefully the sound is okay. If not, there'll have already been a little disclaimer at the bottom of the screen apologizing for the poor sound quality, but we'll see exactly what it's like when I come to editing. So that's the basics of this model put together. Now what I want to do, I've already selected the zombie arm and I have the hand here. Now what I'm looking at on this arm, you'll see that there's an interesting little kind of tie that goes around it. I'm going to trim the hand off there. Make sure I'm on screen. So one thing as well, my camera's mounted slightly higher up now because of my new setup. So what I'm going to need to do at some point is mark on my cutting mat the zone which everyone can see while I'm working, which may get bigger and smaller depending on how zoomed in, my, in I am and so on. But Okay, so I'm going to cut this zombie arm just about there. Right, so I'm going to mount this arm in place and then glue the zombie hand where I want it to sit. to get a hair or something on there. Let me just get my tweezers and take that off. There we go. So yeah, I don't know if there's going to be any... I'm going to come up with any special rules or anything for the different zombies. Just have them as a generic kind of look. I'll put some more glue on that. There's another little hair on there. There we go. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to glue it to the base. I'm going to trim off the bones that this corpse grinder is standing on. Reason being, it'll give a really nice unusual gait to the model so it'll look like it's off balanced as in my head the zombies tend to be as they stagger around and what you'll notice I'm sticking on a smaller base than the actual original model comes with reason being I want all the zombies apart from the Ogren zombie to be on the same size bases. So there's a little bit of uniformity to it. So the head that I'm going to use is this skull head with an eye and a bit of flesh hanging on it. Now I always, whenever I'm converting models, like to come up with a little bit of backstory. And I like the idea that the corpse grinder plague zombies caught the zombie plague, not necessarily from being bitter, but possibly eating infected flesh or something like that. So, now the interesting thing is I don't have a neck 
interesting. The thing about this is I don't have a neck for this to sit on, but I don't think it matters too much when I put it in place. So let's just run some glue around. There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. So there we have the first plague zombie for this video. It's quite I like the fact that it's quite a muscly character. So normally you kind of you think of zombies and you think of well you think of something like this. But I like the idea of a different scale to the character and everything. So let's put that one aside to let the glue dry and let's bring the parts for the next one. Again, this is a corpse grinder character. But I'm going to start with a little bit of conversion on the body. So normally there was like a um, an apron or something stuck on there, but I'm actually going to stick from the zombie kit some intestines hanging out. So this guy's definitely been chowed on by some other zombies. So there's nice nice and quick that on there. So the key thing that I've got with this one, I've got the normal arms that are gonna go on. And then I've got two zombie arms as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them at the wrist to these arms. So what I'll do first is cut the hands off these ones, stick them in place, then attach the zombie hands in the relevant positions. So starting with the pistol hand, let's cut that off. Keep the pistol, always keep things like that for conversions and things like that. And then that axe as well. So let's put these in place. Now there may still be some mold lines on the model. I'm not too worried about them for now. I can take them off and clean them up before I prime ready for paint. At the moment I just want to concentrate on getting these little conversions just stuck together. Okay. And what I'm going to do just to save me holding this and knocking any of the bits, which I'm doing quite well there, I'm going to stick this to a base. Okay, and then while that's going off, let's cut these hands off the zombie sprue. Now the thing I quite like about these hands is this one has kind of a serrated knife on it, which kind of looks like the gear that this character might have used in their previous life. Let's just shave that back a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to just dab a bit of glue on there. Hold that in position for a second. There we go. And then the other hand. The whole arm's moving. Let's hold the arm in place while I do the hand. There we go. Oop. Make sure it's glued to the base. There we go. Okay. 
So the next step, I just want to glue that head in place. And there we have the second zombie for the video. Let's just put that to one side to dry. And now the final one I want to do in this video is a house zombie. So I'm going for House Van Saar for this one. So first things first, let's stick the body together. And I am going to put the neck in this one. So, the character does, um, so the zombie does have a bit more of a neck to work with. And I've gone and stuck this the wrong way around. I need to stick it to the front of the head, for the front of the body first. So, it's all over the place then. There we go, that's better. So, with this one, I am thinking I might add a few extra details after I've put it together. I just want to see how it looks with the initial conversion. With other zombies, what I have done is trimmed the feet and pointed them inwards and stuff like that, but I'm not going to worry with these ones. I just want them to... have the basic kind of look there we go good so first thing I'm just gonna go straight with a zombie arm onto this one so what I'm imagining this character has rather than the gear going all the way along their arms their uniform and everything it's just the body and the arms are bare. I'm going to put some shoulder pads on it though. There we go, let's just hold that for a second. There we go. And that's moving now. Let's So yeah, although the arms and heads of these zombie kit doesn't necessarily match the size of them, I, I think it quite works for distinguishing these ones. It would work with the new zombie kit that you can get. They do have slightly more kind of proportioned heads and everything, but I I just like the style of these old this old one. So it's kind of the style kind of just gives that little extra bit of. I don't know. It's a bit of nostalgia, I think. I do like the idea of having the Vansar details on this. So, first step is getting a shoulder pad on here. I say the first step. It's not the first step, it's another step. I kind of, I've realized I go into a default mode while I'm making these videos. Whoops. Now the glue on those feet hasn't dried yet. Let's put the, that back on there. There we go. Yeah, I kind of, if I'm not thinking about what I'm saying, I go onto a kind of a default and I ramble and sometimes that ends up with me saying the same thing over and over there we go Oops. So that's that side let's get the other shoulder pad on
I like that. Okay, so next thing, I've got the head. He says, dropping it. So there's the head. I've also got the Vansar. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. it comes out the back of their head. If you know it, put it in the comments. I like the tail thing. So what I'm going to do is trim the little back section off the tail so I can stick the zombie head in place. Might have to do some green stuff on some of these to kind of fill any little gaps, but that's something for later on. And then I'm going to stick this on the back of the head. There we go. There okay. So let's put that to one side so we can have a look at these three plague zombies. So there is our first one from a corpse grinder gang. And then a second corpse grinder plague zombie. And then that final one that I just put together, the Vansar plague zombie. So I hope you've enjoyed this little conversion video as I put these together. I've now got 15 plague zombies plus the big ogre and plague zombie. I'm going to paint some of these soon. If you'd like to see a painting video of these zombies, please drop a comment. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to see the other plague zombie videos that I've done, like I said, there's links in the description. But for now, thanks for tuning in. My name's John, and you've been watching War Games Models and other hobbies.